Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Lord, even the camera went out of focus, that was too much. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel of my life in our world. I am back with another makeup video. I really wanted to do this because it's summertime and no one has time to do a full face of makeup, nor does anyone want to have a full face of makeup because it's freaking hot. It's blistering, especially here in Orlando, Florida, the lovely Sunshine State. It is way, way too hot. This little video for you guys is going to be my natural summer makeup look that I've been doing since May, since I got out of school. And I knew I had to totally change around my whole routine to figure out what was going to work best for me during the summertime. So here's my updated makeup routine for the summer. All right, you know the drill. I've already showed you guys this lovely Glossier Primate Moisturizer. Jesus! There we go. All right, so I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna squirt a little bit on my hand. That much. Is that a lot? It looks like not that much. All right, I'm gonna dot it on. And then this is what I look like. I'm really sorry. I feel like the coloring of my face keeps going up and down. Side note, I don't have a lot of natural mirrors. Mirrors? I don't have a lot of natural Oh my god, I don't have a lot of natural windows in my house. That's like one thing I really don't like about my house and my room. I have one window, but it's like right next to another house. It's like this close to my window, so I don't really get any natural lighting. So this is the best I can do. I'm sorry. Until I get like one of those little circle lights, you know what I'm talking about? This is the best I can give you guys. So uh, yeah, and I'm primed. This is kind of like part of my skincare routine, not really like makeup, but you got to put sunscreen, you got to protect your skin. So dot that stuff on. Yay. What do you want, mom? What do you want, mom? My mom's always texting me. Are you at work? No. So because I'm cheap, I have like a bunch of samples of all these different like, uh, Oh, I have a bunch of tinted moisturizers. That's what they're called. I have a bunch of those uh, sample things from Sephora. The one that I'm obsessed with and I'm actually going to go buy in full size is the First Aid Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to put that all over my skin. Can't really see it because the light is just so freaking bright right now. But I have it all over my skin. And Lord, do you see this? I don't even know what that is from. I've not been stressed. I'm not on my period. <sighs> like, so I'm gonna rub this in with my fingers. So as you can see, it does not have a lot of coverage. I like that. I just want something to kind of even out my skin tone a little bit because I feel like that does something good. Also, I know that you guys saw my other makeup videos and they were freaking long. Um, I'm sorry that those are so cringy. Now I look at them and I'm like, you couldn't have figured out a way to do it faster or better or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and make this shorter and better. And yeah, next is concealer. Ugh. I should literally be sponsored by Glossier because I freaking love Glossier. They're just me in a brand. I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer and I'm just using this with my fingers. This concealer is just, hmm, I love it. I do have wrinkles under my eyes. Like it's just gonna crease. I just know that that's gonna happen. And honestly, I've grown to be okay with that. It's not the concealer's fault because if I didn't have like this little line and you see it right there, like that little wrinkle, that is just how my face is. I know some people don't have that. So this concealer is awesome for them and doesn't crease. But because I am the it's just, you know, it's gonna happen. I just did my under eyes. I definitely think that you can tell that it just like brightens up my under eyes a lot. And it just looks super hydrating and glowy and skin, like skin-like. And that's what I like. So many concealers, like most of the ones I have that I do like, they're just drying. I don't know. I feel like my under eyes and my eyelids are like, they just get super dry and they're sensitive. So like I have to be careful not to use concealer too much. So this is the one I use consistently because it doesn't dry my face out. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit 
I'm going to put it on my chin and I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. And I'm going to see if this is going to work to cover up this a little. It's kind of dry right now just because I put some Mario Badescu... You know what I'm talking about, you know. I put some of the drying lotion, you know the one for pimples. I put that on there and now it's really dry. But I'm going to see if I can cover it up a little. Okay. Good enough. As you can see, it did cover up a little bit, so it's not as red. It's still there, and that's fine. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. So before I move on with my face, I um, am going to just use some of this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Take it on any brush you want. Tap it off, because that's what you got to do. And just put it on the top of my eyelids, just to kind of set the a little all right and then if there's any area that you know you get a little bit more oily and you don't like that like my chin I don't like when I get oily on my chin some people like put highlighter there no not for me uh so yeah I just go like that and uh just a little little something something I'm gonna go I don't know what the heck that was. Next, I'm gonna use my Glossier Cloud Paint. I've been using the one in Dust the most for the summer. I thought I would use Beam more. I thought I would use this color more, but sometimes it's just a little too bright for me. When I'm like really rocking bright colors though, I'll break this one out so that it gives my face some color. But when I'm wearing more like subdued colors like burgundy or black or whatever, I'll definitely use this one just because I think it's a little bit more natural. I took a little. Oh no, that wasn't a little. Little. I tried to put a little bit on but that's not happening so I guess today's a big blush day work with what you got cuz I'm not gonna waste it all right I'm just gonna blend that in like this oh my lord that's a lot okay one thing about this product you can't mess up if you mess up you can fix it that's what I like about it I like kind of bringing up my blush a little bit you know like almost like contour I don't know if that's right or not. I'm not claiming <gasps> a bird just flew by my window. <laughs> ah! Next is brows, but brows are boring to watch. So these are the products I'm using. Uh, Glossier Boy Brow and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in chocolate. All right, all right, brows are done. Mm -hmm. You like my work? Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. Usually I do highlighter, but I realize that when I use this little contraption, uh, the death thing uh, for your eyelashes, that sometimes like when it touches here, it takes off my highlighter and I don't like that. So I'm gonna do mascara first. So I like to pump at the root and then I take out a little bit and go slightly up. And then take out a little bit and go slightly up. And then take out a little bit. So I'm really curling like all throughout the lash. And then I'll go back at the root, squeeze again, and it just looks more lifted. So I'll do it to the other eye. So as you can see, that definitely just lifts up my eyelashes a lot. I have like no eyelashes. Mascara, and I'm just gonna wiggle this in. Eyelashes are done. Uh, I just love the look of this mascara. So the mascara that I've actually been using lately is one that I just like have had in my drawer unopened for a really long time. It's the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And this is like um, a, not a drugstore mascara. And I think I got this like in a like package or something during Black Friday from Ulta. All right, so now it's time for highlighter my favorite part so first I'm gonna take this Mac strobe cream I've used it before in my other videos and I'm just gonna put a little 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 dot like that on my hand and put it on my high points like I'm doing cream highlighter but to me this is like my base as you can see oh it just leaves my skin looking so fresh glowy healthy i love it that stuff when i use it like i feel like if i use it by itself it doesn't last forever so i like to go in on top with my halo stick and quartz and i will just warm it up with my finger for a little bit until i feel like it's like sliding very easily and i'll just tap it and put it right on top my last step with the halo scope is to take a little finger like my middle finger 
um, I don't know why I use this one but I'll put it right on the top and I'll put it right on my inner corner. My last and final step for my natural summer makeup is to take my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and a big fat Morphe brush. Just rub it on in there, tap it off, and just put it all over the outside of my face. All right, so that is my complete makeup look for the summer. Super light, super fresh, and just something that I feel like a lot of people wouldn't mind wearing on the daily, going to school, going to work, going out with your friends, whatever, because it is just way too hot to be caking on all these products. And really, like, I feel like the whole trend, it shouldn't be a trend, it should be a thing, that people should be wearing makeup to enhance their features and not feeling like they have to wear a bunch of makeup all the time. Like this is you just a little bit enhanced, you know what I mean? So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really tried to make it a little shorter, a little funner, a little bit more me because I know sometimes when you do a YouTube video, it's hard sometimes to like put across who you really are, like who your identity is. And I just want to show that like I am dorky, I can be smart, I can be confident, but I'm also like stupid sometimes like that's just me and i really hope that you guys can see that but thank you guys for watching this video i really hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys next time bye